Got some heat of our own. Jason, but not that extreme. Not that extreme, not here in Northeast Ohio. I was actually just checking that forecast while we're watching that story there for London. She is right, they are expecting triple yeah. digit heat for the start of the work week over there. And just to remind you, heat is the number one weather related death, cause of death in the US. So we have to make sure that we are hydrating ourselves in Northeast Ohio for the week ahead. And we'll talk about that over the next few hours. If only we can transpose some of this rainwater over there and even to parts of the West and even the South at this hour, temperatures will hang out in the upper 60s, low 70s. This is where we have our area of low pressure at this hour, slowly moving north and east across the region. But some good news is behind that we have high pressure in control for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. So this is going to be very, very brief. You can already see here we have lots of rainwater moving to portions of the Midwest and also the mid Atlantic at this hour as that warm front is already lifted north across the region. We've kind of kept our temperatures locked in because of the cloud cover and also because of the rainwater as well. The forecast was in the upper 70s, low 80s, but because we've had so much rain moving through our area today, our temperatures at the surface have been rather conservative. Some areas are getting a little bit of a dry slot moving in over towards the east. Ashtabula, Trumbull County, as you can see there. Upper 60s, low 70s right now as far as dew point temperatures. Once that warm front moved across the region earlier today, we've had so much moisture in play. This is why it's been feeling very soupy out there across the area for our Sunday. As far as uh, the, the rainwater goes, we do have a little bit of flooding concerns to talk about as well. I want to just kind of educate you a little bit in terms of training. That is when you have a prolonged period of rain showers moving over a specific location. This is where we could likely see some flooding concerns for some of our second roadways, some of our rural areas and some of our depression areas as well overnight tonight through the early hours for us tomorrow. Here's a Euro rainfall accumulation model taking us through Tuesday PM. We'll have rain tapering off for tomorrow evening into the overnight, but anywhere from one, one and a half, perhaps even up to two inches of rain showers cannot be out of the question for us. Heavier rain for our Sunday has been concentrated back over towards the Erie Hurrain County region. Light rain showers have been moving through the rest of the area, but as I said, before we do have some flooding concerns likely. This is why National Weather Service put out a flood watch advisory for portions of Tuscarawas and Carroll County through 8 a.m. tomorrow. I don't have to remind you of this. We desperately need the rainfall. This is where the drought monitor showed last Thursday. We'll get a new one this coming Thursday, so we'll see how we did. Your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast places another lobe of moderate to heavy rain showers over the next couple hours moving through as the area of low pressure wraps around. It'll take much of that intense rain showers out with it and we'll left with some residual light rain heading towards the area for early tomorrow morning between 3 and 5 a.m. for tomorrow. We'll have another wave of energy moving through and it will wrap around again, moving on out of the region around noontime for tomorrow into the early afternoon and then we'll start to taper things off. That's when high pressure hops back in the driver's seat and that'll take us through Tuesday. What also will happen on Tuesday heading in towards Wednesday in your Union Home Mortgage seven day. Another warm front moves in and this is where the heat dome is going to be expanding across the lower 48 as the jet stream moves up to the north. Low 90s by Tuesday and Wednesday, perhaps even a stray shower possible with that uh, cold front moving through. I don't think it'll be too much, but we get back into the 80s by Thursday and Friday of this week.